6.45 a.m. I am getting ready for work. I was actually supposed to be there at 7, but I... Oh, it was a rough morning. So I'm going to get there at like 7.30, which... Which they're okay with. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw my scrubs, grab my food, arrange packing my lunch that I made yesterday. Oh my god, y'all, I made this bomb behind shrimp linguine. I should have filmed it. I'm going to make it again so I can film it again. Uh, yeah, I'm tired. A lot of changes are happening in the next month or so for both of us, actually. If you can see, things are coming back out. Books. And you'll see why later. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna hurry up and get dressed. Find my scrubs. <sighs> Cause your girl's struggling this morning. <gasps> Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> He's not a morning person. <sighs> yeah, so let me hurry up and get my scrubs on and get in the car and we'll talk there. All right, let's go. This is what I use to journal and organize and plan. So I'm gonna bring that today. These are my pens, my watch. Okay, I'm gonna make my coffee real quick. And this is my bag I use. <sighs>
This one's yours. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh no. This one, babe, just put it in. Bye. Bye. Love you. Ouch. <laughs> all right guys that's pretty much what my morning consists of when i go to work um today i was just running a little late but typically i'm up by six i'm out of the door by 6 30 6 40 and then my patient's home is like 15 minutes away maybe 12 there's no traffic really at all to get there so i'm there by seven and then my shift is 7 to 10 p.m. Um, three days a week. Um, but because my birthday is coming up in a couple weeks, I've been picking up Sundays too. Because that's all overtime pay for 15 hours. So, y'all, them checks be nice weekly, okay? So, um, I'm working this weekend and next weekend as well. So, oh, okay, okay. Eh. Oh, oh, this belly going. Ooh. All right, so yeah, so I'm just gonna. Of course, I can't vlog being in my patient's house and stuff, but I'll kind of check in with you guys throughout the day. Um, just pretty much let you know what I do. I love home health so much because when I start back school um, in October, which I am starting back school for my RN degree, um, I'll have a lot of study time, downtime where I can just really cram and just dig into the books so it's gonna be a lot we're taking on a lot he's going back to school in a couple weeks i got him back in school too like so we're just on the school train this year and baby train this year so it's gonna be a lot but we're gonna work it out um yeah so the coffee y'all see me make i love fat coffees um i i used to have a keto diet because keto works really well with my body type as well um and I love putting healthy fats into my coffee. So I'll do, I'll do coffee and then I'll put a little sugar um, and then I'll use the ghee butter. Ghee butter, uh, it's just so good. Sometimes I used to use heavy whipping cream but my stomach don't agree with me on that. But ghee butter has so many healthy fats. It gives you so much energy. It gives you that salted sweet taste. And I add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt to get more electrolyte. Trust me, y'all gotta try it mixed together. You wanna salt your coffee, put a little sugar, put your little ghee butter in there use your creamer and then I use my frother to cream um to put a little foam at the top because he loves that and then I'll sprinkle it with some cinnamon and that's my morning coffee y'all so yeah right now it's 7 20 but I'll be there by like 7 35 um I don't like being late but what can you do what can you do I gotta do better um, yeah, so that's pretty much what my morning consists of, guys. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Oh, shoot. Sorry. It's the baby. Um, make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Um, as you can see, I have so much more energy in the morning. I just am the most productive, most focused in the morning. It's just... And I'm just like no good during the evening. <laughs> so um, I'll get back on here and I'll check with you guys a little later. All right, bye. Okay guys, so I just got here. Um, I'm just gonna start my patient.
medication on a feed and I'm gonna go ahead and get her medications ready and get her changed and we're ready to go for the day. Hey guys, just checking in with you. So I'm just doing some charting. Um, it's quite tedious, but right now I'm just going over the head toe assessment part since I did that with her this morning. I'm um, going over the MAR, which shows the medications that I gave, um, the TAR, which is the treatments that she has today, which she actually has a clean out today. Her GI, she's been backed up. So we have a certain procedure we have to do today. So I'm getting that prepared. That's gonna start at 11. Um, and then of course I document any type of infusions, which includes her feeds um, mainly four times a day. And then her input, her input, her intake and her output. Um, I also notate, and then I have a notes tab here, which I'll show, it's like a, this is what it looks like. And there's a notes tab here where I have to um, document every two hours, um, you know, how she's doing from my shift 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So it's pretty cool. I get this done pretty much um, throughout the day. So I'm done by the time I'm off. There's a lot of downtime. My patient's resting. She's doing very well. She's watching a movie. Um, and yeah, so that's why I feel like I can go back to nursing school because I'll be able to get a lot of studying done here as well. So that's going to be good for me. So yeah, I'm just going to work on these charts here and I will catch up with y'all in a little bit. All right. Okay guys, so I'm currently at the end of my shift. I actually have like, okay, it's 8.30. I have like an hour and a half left. Um, I'm just kind of stepping outside to take a walk and stretch my feet. Family just got home. So um, I'll go more in depth in future videos on what I pretty much do throughout the day as far as charting and medication and fees, administration and monitoring, vital signs, all that nursing stuff. And me and the baby just getting our walk in so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog or day in the life um video here make sure you guys comment like and subscribe to my channel and also follow my ig which i'll have in the description below it's misha Lattimore, first and last name um yeah hit me up on there show me some love and make sure you turn on the bell so once you subscribe sorry once you subscribe there's a bell press it and put all so you're notified every time I post a video I'm gonna start coming up with a posting schedule which is gonna be two to three times a week so y'all just let me know what y'all want to see and I will make that happen um, other than that thank you guys so much for watching <sighs> your girl is out of breath oh my god Ooh, yeah make sure y'all like comment all that other stuff and uh i'll catch y'all later all right bye Mwah.